What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about companions and kind of give you my thoughts on the companion info we got a few days back during the Blackwood event. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think about it. Are you excited about companions now? Are you still kind of on the fence? I know some people in the community are really excited about it. Some are not quite sure yet. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Before I get started, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with a 5% discount code, is linked in the description as well. Of course, during the Blackwood uh, reveal event, we got a little bit of info about everything kind of coming to Blackwood. And of course, we did get a little bit of in or a little bit more info about the companion system. We get to learn that, of course, they're going to have their own personalities and backstories. So depending on, you know, kind of how you interact with them, that's going to be kind of how they feel towards you, whether it's, you know, kind of liking what you do around Tamriel or disliking what you do around Tamriel. You're going to be able to unlock quest to learn more about that particular companion and as we all know um Zenimax does a great job with storytelling with the, uh, really with the voice acting and everything so i'm sure the two companions that we will be, we're going to be able to get when the blackwood chapter is released will have their own unique kind of backstories and things and i i, I probably can about guarantee you later on at some point there will be companions available in the crown store and i'm sure those will be very unique as well so I know I've heard some people just talking about they figured it was going to be kind of cookie cutter, you know, that it would kind of feel the same no matter what companion you had. And I don't really feel that's going to be the case. Um, the other thing that I thought was really neat, which it was something that I figured was going to happen, of course, that was going to be able to level them up, unlock skills and that kind of thing. But I thought it was very cool that we kind of got to see an example of how the uh, cooldown and priority system is going to work for the skills. Now, they just showed a quick kind of view of this, nothing too big, you know, and it wasn't nothing, it wasn't really anything that was too in-depth anyway, but it kind of showed off, you know, you're going to have these skills set on the bar, and if you want to use this particular skill, you're going to have it set, you know, one, two, three, four, five, kind of on your bar, like you would, you know, if you were in uh, in combat yourself, and that's how your character or your companion is going to use these skills. It will have a cooldown system. They did show, what was the example was a, a DK, so it showed pretty much the same skills that we have available on a DK if you own, or if you own, or if you have, excuse me, a DK yourself. So it showed things like, uh, you know, Green Dragon's Blood, that kind of thing. So it looks like a lot of these skills are going to be the same skills that you use for the uh, individual characters that you have made for yourself. So that's pretty unique. So at least you're kind of used to some of these skills. I was kind of hoping that these companions may have some different skills, uh, you know, that weren't available in game, but we'll kind of have to wait and see how that goes uh, or later on. At, I'm sure as the companions have been out for a while or a longer period of time after the Blackwood chapter is, you know, kind of out, these things will probably evolve over time and have some different things brought to the game just for the companions in general. Um, they are customizable. I know that was one thing that a lot of people were excited about. And that's probably the coolest thing I think about it, uh, in my opinion, because I'm, I'm probably going to use these maybe for soloing dungeons or something like that uh, when it comes to anything else. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use these for. Of course, we're not exactly sure what all content that can be brought in yet. That has not been concrete. Uh, there's not been concrete details on that to say yes and no on certain things. You know, we're kind of still up in the air on some of these, I think. But the ability to change their outfits, customize their looks. And they said there's going to be the ability to use the things that you've already unlocked in game. And hopefully later on, there will be certain things that are brought to the game. Maybe where there's, uh, you can go within within antiquities and dig up things just for your companions. Or you can go out and adventure and find things just for your companions. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to handle this. I'm not sure if it's going to be just everything that we have available to in our inventory. The things that we have unlocked will be the only things we can add to these companions. Or if later on, we will have different things we can add in as you know, kind of they've been out for a while. And I'm sure at some point there will be things in crates and things in the store you can buy, you know, kind of for, uh, you know, the companions as well for the, you know, their looks and um, kind of, you know, outfits and that, that style thing. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. When I saw this, I got a little bit more excited about the whole companion idea. And I'm kind of curious if you did too. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.